There are questions circulating about HIV transmission following the arrest of a woman who police say is positive and allegedly bit a Virginia Beach police officer. Latasha Davis Wiggins is charged with malicious bodily injury. Police requested her medical records to prove she knew her status when she bit the officer. But a lot of you wanted to know if transmission is actually possible through a bite. 13 News Now reporter Dana Smith went to the experts to clear it all up. Dana. There's a lot of stigma surrounding HIV and experts say there's also a lot of misinformation. Saliva is considered a very low or non-existent way for HIV to be transmitted. Police arrested Latasha Davis Wiggins for public intoxication on March 23rd. Officers say she became combative and bit an officer on the forearm, drawing blood. Police say she also received a cut on her head before authorities transported her to the hospital. A doctor working with Davis Wiggins told police officers she was HIV positive. Police filed an affidavit for a search warrant for her medical records to determine if she knew her status at the time she bit the police officer. While it is biologically possible to transmit HIV through saliva, um, it's not very likely. Um, in order for that to happen, you really have to have both the presence of blood as well as broken skin on the person that was bitten. Irma Hinkle of LGBT Life Center says the incident is an opportunity to talk about the stigma associated with HIV. She said although there is still a bit of inaccurate information floating around about the ways in which HIV is spread, more people are educated about it as opposed to years ago. It's typically through sexual contact, um, sharing needles, um, or a mother could potentially pass it to her child.